events I may not ever get to do again, Day of Dignity, Day of Resilience, Juneteenth in America. I have some good memories. I just want to share some of those fantastic events with you all. Good music, good people, good energy, good vibes. like to tell us about neither why just blend on in. Hey everybody, I just want to give all praises is due to the most high God who I choose to call choose to call our lives. And like Bliss said, this is a new chapter in our life. We're gonna be coming together a lot, you know, integrating a lot of different entities into our performances. You'll be seeing some of the puppets. This puppet name is neither. He's neither uh, white or black, neither female or male. He just is love. Love. I see some of my sisters and brothers out there, and we get ready to give y'all a little bit of love right here. I hope y'all entertain and uh, enjoy sharing wives and bliss the blue violin. Give it up, give it up, y'all. Jamie said, who's the best in the house?
But now weed is legal. Who's gone was that? Court cases to indict who? America, it's been your third strike, boo. I said America, it's been your third strike, boo. But how do we execute you? Execution style, you say. Indeed, I'm seeing red as blood is shed and another funeral is set to bury another brother of my skin color. Nah, something's gotta give. Wanna know why? Because I got a kid and I'll be darned if I'm showing her this ratchet way to live. I said, nah, something's gotta give. Wanna know why? Because I got a kid and I'll be darned if I'm showing her this ratchet way to live. There is still hope, but only with unity. Our kids up are next up to be whoever they want, so let's preach. I was robbed by my own brother carrying my seed. I'm sure we all got a story. I said I was robbed by my own brother carrying my seed. I'm sure we all got a story. Mine's is pages of struggle, but stress not. I refuse to teach my daughter how to be the best stop. I'm looking for redirection, but I can't do it alone. Community, I need your action. Kings and queens, take your throne. I said, community, I need your action. Kings and queens, take your throne. It's game time, I'm ready, suit up. I need you to take this knowledge like a druggy love to boot up because I can't sit back and look sin about another white man causing another shoot up because I can't breathe. And I'm scared for my brother to wear a hoodie down the street. Digest this, let's all eat. I said digest this, let's all eat. Islamic Heritage Museum, do I have y'all attention? I said Islamic Heritage Museum, do I have y'all attention? I love y'all. But let's not forget to mention a day of dignity. Thank you. Can you show your name? My name is Azira the Poet, and my Instagram is A Z I Y R A H V Poet. Thank y'all. Get it, sis. 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 Hey, got the groove. Who got the groove? Service. Let me tell you, someone hit and ran me. 
this Latino brother came up to me, gave me a quick estimate of my car, said he could do it while I wait. Do you think I'm not gonna use him again and not share his business? I would love to do black owned, but you gotta give the service. You gotta do the service. Dang! On the spot, he was ready to. He got his card. He has testimonies. Oh, he's on point. <laughs> All right, I'm on my way to Ikea. Ikea got stepping up. They got solar panels. All right, so shoes, desk, and chair. Desk is flimsy. I'm gonna put my monitor, my laptop. It might be a little tight. I think it'll be doable. This is it. This will work. This, this will work. Let me turn up these windows. All right, fam, I'll sound like them. I am on my way to Cambridge, Maryland which um, is the birthplace, you know, Cambridge, Blackwater, you know, the, all that area, um, is the birthplace of our beloved Moses, uh, Harriet Tubman. And um, today is the Day of Resilience. The festivities started around 10.30 when they went, went to the, you know, they did a walk across the Underground Railroad to the, um, they do the walk, to the location to the um to the waters to give libation and they have just like a bunch of festivities that's going on today uh as beautiful a ride that this is uh prepare to drive for a few hours when i say i went over bridges more bridges and more bridges several bodies of water um if you're afraid of heights uh brace yourself I'm afraid of heights so I had to like get zoned out with the music and not pay attention and just get caught up in just other things but it's wonderful during this drive I just got caught up in just how beautiful the sky was and the surroundings and just being so in tune to nature one of my favorite places is to come out here So, I'm not sure exactly where I should go, but alhamdulillah, I had my lunch. Because <laughs> I don't really feel like spending money. I got my lunch, and I'm going to look for this place. So, it's along the, like, the trail of the Underground Railroad. So, right now, I think they have an art exhibit. So, I think I'm in the right spot. I don't know. We'll soon see. But I said, let me go ahead and take the opportunity to um, eat. But let me tell you something. No brown people at all. This mural of Harriet Tubman reaching out to help you into the boat was the one that went viral online. It's a must see. It's doing it now. All right, awesome. Go ahead. So great to meet you, sister. My name is Kimberly Fogg. I am the founder of Global Sustainable Partnerships. We are doing some amazing things in Africa and our own community. And so in Ward 7 and 8, I have a diabetes program that is geared towards our African American sisters. Like I said, in Ward 7 and 8, we have an amazing doctor that explains what diabetes <laughs> is. We have an amazing chef who's also a nutritionist that helps us with healthy eating. We have a yoga instructor. And I actually do exercises with our sisters. Three that times a week. The 
amazing testimonies that we've gotten from our sister has told us that we are helping to change and shape their lives. So if you know anybody in Ward 7 and 8 that is pre-diabetic, diabetic, have family members that are pre-diabetic, diabetic, please reach out to me at 404-909-2428. I'm here at the Harriet Tubman uh, Day of Resilience. I am the creator of the Harriet Tubman Legacy Coin. It is made out of antique brass. It has her birth date, her enslaved date, and her death date. And these tracks represent the Underground Railroad. And if you turn it around to the back, it's the National Museum of African American History and Culture. And around this side are chains that represent breaking the chains of slavery. And they're all numbered. And each numbered coin comes with a certificate of authenticity. So awesome. this is part of our fundraising efforts. So thank you, sister, so much. Awesome. Thank you for Sharon. doing this. I'm going to go ahead and record it. <laughs> Why not? So part of our diabetes program is that we are partnering with some amazing people. Amerigroup is one of our strategic partners. Amerigroup. And so we provide us with fruits and vegetables so that we can continually promote healthy eating. And so I would love to give you one of our boxes of fresh fruits and vegetables. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So All right, so. All right, so this is the festivities. I'm on my way to the town hall for the um, the C ambass the ambassador Sierra Leone um, Siddiqui. So this is going to be fun and interesting. They got out here. They got a lot going on. So let me see if I can find my way. So, thank goodness, um, I had charged on my charger because that, um, that session with the ambassador was like two, like over two hours. Now, I didn't, I'm not sharing it on this platform on my, um, Global Green Book, but if you want to watch the entirety of it, it's called The Day of Resilience and it's on my global green book um ig channel so um i'm in cambridge maryland and um it's an interesting city right all right so i'm supposed to be on the road leaving because um like i said the whole uh, meeting with the ambassador took so long, but I just hit that nice sunflower, my favorite flower. But I'm hearing the African drums. So I just want to take a peek real quick. Um, this is part of the day of resilience. And I just want to see what's happening. And then I'm going to get on the road. I guess this is the peak of the fashion show. So I don't, I don't have to stay for the whole thing. This is what has been the fashion show. So we're gonna see what the festivities are. This is the Harriet Tubman Museum.
I'm done. I'm gonna get on the road, folks. about this the city of Cambridge every store you go in it has African memorabilia about different African leaders and Harriet Tubman everything it's just like it's so the tourism is clearly based on African history um, whaling African history you know, seafood, African history. But when you look at the demographics, all the store owners are not African. But any, all the restaurants are not African, but they're making their living off of our history. So Cambridge is staying true to nature, you know, as a little slave city getting rich off of slave labor. It's the modern city still getting, making this money off of black history. Interesting. Yeah, I'm out of here. The only way I would stay up here if I had a place, but like I'm driving by people's businesses and they got freaking <clears throat> Confederate flags. As much as jokers want to say Maryland, D.C., Maryland, Virginia is not the South, it's the South. I don't care what you say. Yeah, we may, you may see a concentration of blacks there, but when you go out deep in Maryland, that's where you see the Confederate flags. Yeah, I'm out of here before it gets dark. Go where I can, I'm a, around a concentration of black folks. And I feel a little bit safer because I don't want to be caught out here after dark and something happens. You know, nothing may not happen to me, but you never know. There's always one crazy radical person in the bunch. Confederate flags, like really?